All right, so this is everything gotten from the Reading Fight and Phil's game versus the Somerset Patriots on Tuesday, July 27th, 2021. And uh, yeah, you see three things here. Um, there's no, or at least from what I saw, there was no souvenir cups or anything like that. I already have, you know, a hat and a shirt, the normal stuff that I get at new stadiums. You know, I've been there twice in the past, not for three years, but I have been there in the past. Um, so what I got here is the uh the giveaway for the game the uh printed ticket stub and the 2021 team set so let's take a look at this there's actually no personal information uh on here for once there's nothing on the back um so yeah that's basically you know what the ticket would look like uh in physical form basically right there uh proud double a affiliate of the philadelphia philly since 1967 2021 season is brought to you by pepsi in case for some reason you care um, and yeah, the plaza, the, if you don't know, Reading is like a little plaza area. There's a lot of tables. There's live music. It's kind of a, a nice chill environment. That place opened at five. I think I got there around 530 ish. So I was kind of standing around for half an hour, but it was fine. Then the rest of the stadium opened at six and then game time. So no five. Um, but it's interesting, you know, going there kind of, you know, at, an hour earlier, roughly, um, yeah, I, I kind of set my sights for getting there around five um, without traffic so that I knew I wouldn't get there at five. But basically, that's what I set my uh, GPS for. Like I left when it told me I was going to get there at five o'clock without traffic so that I would get there somewhere in between. Um, when you see R. Phil's America's Classic Ballpark, 1950, um, you see the, uh, the map there and then a bunch of legal crap. Uh, let's go with the giveaway. It says a bobblehead. So you can clearly, probably, oh, maybe not clearly if you're not that familiar with it, but it looks like a bobblehead fit in here. I might have to pause the video for the sake of this styrofoam is going to go everywhere and it's just going to break up and shit if I um, don't. So I'll be back. Cool. Stuff for me to clean up later and it's like all over me too. Um, and there's styrofoam so here's our block and here's the bobblehead for the wow that's cool <laughs> i have another um unrelated bobblehead actually from somerset over uh, on the shelf over there that just came without a bat is that like a common problem with these bobbleheads that the bats just like fall out because this guy just doesn't have a bat <laughs> Um, and obviously the one literally fell off on this one. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, my finger's in the way. At least the, this one kind of has like a little hole though. Can like stick it. Yeah, that works if you're not like moving it around too much. So uh, as you can see, this is Mickey Morandini. Um, if you're watching this in the full video, the full highlight video, uh, you know that he was there throwing out the first pitch. And uh, he was signing autographs. As you can see, there's no autograph anywhere on here or on the box. Uh, because I don't, I still do not understand why stadiums do this. They scheduled um, autograph session for during the game. If it was before the game, I would have stood in the long line, whatever. Um, but during the game... And when I showed up at 5.30, the line was already wrapping around the plaza. Uh, that wasn't going to happen. I wasn't going to miss half the game, you know, for an autograph, uh, no matter who it is. So, um, yeah, so no autograph, but I did obviously have the bobblehead. Uh, this was the sponsor. Uh, funny story about this sponsor. They kept advertising during the game that you could win, like, a free will, which I just thought was, I don't know, kind of funny <laughs> because that's just a really random thing and then for the kids they had like autographs with like an alligator or some shit but then you could also win a free will so um anyway as you can see this is a classic uh phillies uniform if you don't know he played for the phillies um he did some coaching in reading and you can find more about him on uh, wikipedia and stuff he's also played for the cubs and i think a couple other teams um, as you can see, this is, as I said, the, uh, throwback kind of uniform, you know, from when, around the era that he actually played. Um, and it is the Reading R up here. Um, then you see the old Phillies on the chest there, and then the 80s style powder blue pants, uh, the maroon shoes, and, um, yeah, all that.
and Morandini number eight. And uh, yeah, cool bobblehead. So the last thing we have here is the um, is the team set for 2021. I might have to pause it again to open it real quick. Um, but yeah, team set 2021. Let's uh, check it out. So you know how normally um, you have all the cards facing the same direction. They actually, maybe they just did this so that, you know, when you're flipping it around in the packaging, you see the front face on both sides. Um, but yeah, it's just front facing both sides. So that's uh, interesting. But actually, if I turn to this side and flip, yeah, it was only, that's what I thought. It was only this card that was flipped like that just for showing it off in the packaging. That's kind of what I assumed. Anyway, uh, so first here in this team set, we have Bryson Stott. And if you don't know, I'm just going to quickly get through all these, name all the names and all that. Uh, Brad Bergeson. Uh, Jorge Bonifacio. Uh, Daniel Brito. Uh, Andrew Brown. Ethan Lindo, Tyler Carr, Joel Caesar, uh, Rodolfo Duran, Colton Eastman, Colby Fitch, uh, Archimedes Gamboa. Julian Garcia, Dalton Guthrie, Hunter Hearn, Jonathan Hennigan, Tyler Henson. That was a long fun fact. Uh, Jacob Hernandez. Matt Kroon, Taylor Lehman, Brian Mac, I almost said Macaroni, Marconi, <laughs> uh, Ner Luis Martinez, uh, Kenny Ma Matinane. Strength and conditioning coach on that guy, by the way. Uh, Nick Matura. James MacArthur. Luke Miller. Francisco Morales. Austin Ross. John Steven. Madison Stokes. Billy Sullivan. McCarthy Tatum, uh, Chris Turian, athletic trainer, Matt Verling, Zach Warren, Sean Williams, Braden Zarbinski, Mark Appel, I believe was the last one because he is the other front facing one. And yeah, that is uh, what we got going here. This was everything gotten from July 27th game. Uh, so yeah, uh, I guess that's pretty much it for me. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.